Hi folks, I'm Sir on Android.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I'm finally back from CES, and uh, I am starting to get back on track, and I'll have a bunch of ROMs and stuff, uh, so just wait, or leave your comment which phone you want me to cover. Uh, but today, we're going to go ahead and update uh, the Sprint S5. I actually used this throughout CES. And uh, I have a good ROM. I actually have two good Lollipop ROMs I can recommend you. It's actually the uh, rooted stock Lollipop. There's actually two versions, uh, the international version and another version based on the official Lollipop. Um, so let's actually go take a look. Let's go do this, baby. Hi, guys. So I've got the international version here. This is the international ported version. One of the things that I like about the international uh, version is that uh, it has no sprint... Uh, blowware but some of you might enjoy it but I don't really like it this will give you the full uh, standard uh, touchwiz lollipop experience without all the additives actually it is actually pretty solid I've actually took this uh, particular version to CS 2015 for the whole week and uh, everything is really fast uh, and uh, oh everything is really fast I don't know what happened. I didn't press it hard enough I guess uh, and uh, also hotspot works out of the box which is very nice and I've actually had like four different hotspots. I had a hotspot working on every network, which is kind of cool. And also with the uh, Nexus, well, with the Lollipop in general, uh, you have to download an extra app, I think Stick Mount, now I know, uh, to actually get USB OTG to work. Uh, TouchWiz Lollipop ROMs have uh, OTG working out of the box. You don't have to do anything, you just plug it in. Uh, actually, you don't actually need root either. But this is fully rooted. And also your MMS works flawless uh, because it has a uh, modded MMS, a uh, fully working 4G LTE, 4G LTE working just fine. And I really like this one over the Sprint version because uh, I don't really need this Sprint Wi-Fi calling. Uh, man, but you know, if you want the fastest one without the blower, try this one. Uh, if you don't want, if you do want the Sprint blower, if you like the NASCAR stuff and whatever. Uh, you can go ahead and try that. It actually does have a Sprint voicemail, it seems like. No, no, it just, it's just an icon there. Um, so this will give you a full Lollipop TouchWiz experience. Uh, that is really fast, great battery, great performance without the bloatware. Some of you really will like this, so definitely try it. And let me show you the Sprint version next. Here's a quick look at the boot animation on the Sprint uh, version. This is the Lollipop, but uh, uh, it also has custom boot animation, which is kind of cool over stock sprint crap boot animation. All right, guys, this is the sprint version. Uh, this is based on the uh, official sprint firmware. Um, and uh, this is the official Lollipop. And the good thing about this one is that it has all the knocks removed. Uh, you, of course, you'll get full root and you'll get a hotspot, mobile hotspot working out of the box also. Uh, make sure you go to hotspot here. Just turn it on. That's pretty much it. And also, you'll get all of your favorite uh, Sprint blowware. I don't know if you really need it, but Sprint Zone, Sprint Fun, and Games. Of course, Super SU working just fine. Uh, also, Wi-Fi calling. If you need Wi-Fi calling, go with this one. But I feel like I like the international version because it doesn't have all the Sprint firmware, uh, the <laughs> Sprint uh, bloatware. Um, so definitely check it out. Uh, they're both good ROMs. They're both stock ROMs. Uh, but you'll get full Lollipop experience. I mean, there's no lag whatsoever. It is much, much faster. Lollipop in general improves performance on your phone uh, up to 25%, I've seen. So uh, definitely check it out. You have two choices. All right, guys, so you guys have two choices, the international version uh, or the Sprint version. Installation's easy. If you're using, uh, if you're coming from a stock Sprint uh, firmware and uh, you can go ahead and dirty flash the uh, Sprint version, and it should most likely have no problems whatsoever. Uh, but if you're coming from another custom ROM, definitely uh, do a clean wipe. Make sure you format system. And also another note, uh, you know, if you if you're deciding between TouchWiz or AOSP, all I can tell you is camera is better on the TouchWiz. Uh, also for the Lollipop, um, you know, OTG cable works out of the box. Uh, for the TouchWiz uh, without root also, uh, but it does come with root. Other than that, you know, it's it's a great device. Sprint S5, I really like it because you can install AOSP, no lock bootloaders like AT&T or Verizon. Um, so very good choice, very good carrier. 
uh, you know, just the bad thing is the speed of the 4 GLT. Sometimes I feel like, you know, sprint lags behind everybody else. Um, so that's my only complaint. My favorite carrier right now is T-Mobile. I've used T-Mobile um, more now than other carriers, but I still have all of the four carriers. Anyway, check out, uh, if you do have a Sprint S5, check out uh, one of the two ROMs and enjoy Touch with Lollipop. And uh, it, it is really fast. And just Lollipop itself uh, makes the phone fast, um, you know. So definitely check it out. And I will see you guys soon. I'll have more videos uh, this week. I'm just going to have a load of videos. I'll see you guys soon. As always, I'll stay on Android.